When Saturday school starts, Asuho's head collapses onto the desk. She's practically telling me she wasn't interested in studying in the first place. She's just here to take a nap. I work through the questions on the handout beside her sleeping figure. Asuho doesn't appear to be getting up during break either. Was she up all night practicing her cooking again? Just to create something new for the menu? I'll make sure to eat it all if she presents it. I'll eat it every day if it'll make Asuho happy. So I didn't wake her up. Probably because we're sleeping the whole time. I'm pretty sure that in Asuho's case it's literally only a matter of closing and opening her eyes. You're going to help out at the store now, right? I'll work too. He said that he didn't want to force Asuho to help out. Is he keeping to his word on that? What do you have in mind? I can't think of anything on the spot. Now that you mention it, I haven't had a leisurely look around since coming back. That might not be a bad idea. I've only been to the lookout in front of the station and the shops. I guess I'll have you take me around then. Having expected that, I've already made Shinami and Onshino's lunch at home. We walk along the hill. And say, Asuho. I've been wondering, but don't you always walk on my right? Yeah. And your seat is also on my right. Well, she certainly has a point. I don't inquire as to why she thinks so. Actually, it's more that I'm unable to inquire. Though instead... When was the first time you thought that being a class representative wasn't so bad? She goes red for some reason. I was afraid of asking that, but it turns out that this one is a landmine too. Things end up being highly awkward. But considering this is us who we are talking about, she'd probably recover soon enough. Asuho had turned back to normal by the time we arrived on the shopping street. Are you sure about letting me choose? I'm going to get the same thing regardless, aren't I? <laughs> Even if I select the same thing, I won't be consecutively getting the same dish. On the contrary, the order will be different every time. A gentle voice and an even gentle, uh, gentler expression. My heart races upon her conveying her emotions straightforwardly. Don't push yourself, okay? I don't let it show in my voice. You really like cooking, don't you? We arrive in front of the Milky Way. Sure. I give it some thought. And one place comes to mind. It's not exactly sightseeing, but I want to take a look at a shop that sells astronomical telescopes, if the town has one. Then... Asuho raises her voice as I'm about to speak. Asuho is straining her ears. What, is it going to rain? What's wrong? Her rain alarm? I look upwards. A part of the sky was covered by thick clouds, but it was mostly clear. I feel something hit against my cheek. Patterns start appearing on the bitumen. I guess it's starting to rain. Well, if it's a sun shower, won't it stop soon? Just as I say that. The sound of thunder echoes from far away. 
Well, if it's an evening shower, wouldn't that also stop soon? Just as I was thinking how the wind was getting stronger, thick clouds gather in clumps covering a sky that should have been clear. The rain pours down as she shouts out. Let's get inside first, Aso. I quickly drag her by her hand inside the store. The rain doesn't show any signs of stopping, even after lunch. Long showers to mark the transition from summer to autumn. It seems that the tones of the north aren't any different. Asuho looks outside the window listlessly. Despite the force of the downpour, the rain still follows a steady rhythm. It's like a veil blocking us from stargazing. Yeah, you tell that asshole. Asuho has changed into her store uniform. Our plans to take a look around Hibagasaki have been cancelled. Aso, cheer up and let's get to work. <laughs> Don't be too upset about it. It's ruining your cuteness. <laughs> she turns red for some reason. <laughs> of course! Y yeah. It's hard to answer when she asks me herself. But why? <laughs> um, Hisakaki is beautiful, but in terms of cuteness, I think you have the upper hand. <laughs> why? Aso takes her hand off the window and turns her attention to me. She stammers me. Go on. Asuho looks downwards. She walks past me and disappears into the kitchen. What was that all about? It seemed that she wanted to say it but was unable to. I'm a bit impatient but part of me doesn't want to hear it. I sure am good for nothing. I'm nowhere near being an honor student. I'm aware of Aso's feelings, yet I'm unable to comprehend them. Because you're an idiot! In the end, the rain didn't stop. It's still raining, there's no light in the sky, it's all concealed by the darkness and clouds. The Tinkerus Club activities were suspended for the time being. After contacting everyone, she snaps her phone shut and leans on the desk with her hands. And she drifts into thought. Kuga Sakayo comes to mind, and his reaction while working. He appears troubled at times to what Aso says. Those words contain the secret emotions in her chest. He must have picked up on it, and that's why he's finding it difficult to respond. That's right. Yo finds it a bother. He's bothered by her advances. If she continues any further, she'll just place a huge burden on him. She should have done enough already. The days since he transferred into Hibariko. Perhaps she's completely attached to him. She's walked to school with him. She was allowed into his house. She enjoyed the trip to the beach and the summer festival. And last but not least, they had watched the stars together. All of which were unimaginable to her back in primary school. She couldn't even talk to him back in primary. Despite having taken the chance to get close to him as the class representative, he only got more distant. Even when talking to him, he would merely give one or two word responses. She would get suspicious glances if she tried to keep the conversation going, reading a book alone during breaks, leaving the classroom immediately once class is finished. She had never seen him smile. Distant. Unreachable even if you tried to catch up. Out of sight. Koga Sakayo was too distant for her. And him moving away marked the end. Never did he say goodbye. Asuho could only accept it indifferently when their homeroom teacher informed them out of the blue. No, she might not have accepted it. Perhaps her lack of reaction was because it didn't sink in. She unsteadily arrived home from school and returned to her room after a quiet meal. And just like now, she leaned with her hands on the desk. Completely and utterly lost, she suddenly notices. She had opened the drawer. <laughs> Lying inside the open drawer were two wish cards. One belonging to her and one belonging to Yo. Yo's wish card was uh, placed here, the wish card she didn't have a chance to return back then. The drawer closes with a thought, and tears finally start flowing out. She cries as if reliving those memories. 
she had realized that. When she was a child, when she stored his card in this drawer, her feelings had become a mere memory. It was then that she realized those feelings were of love. She realized he was her first love only after he had become a memory. Her first love won't come true. It was crushed moments after realizing her feelings. She should have known that. Yet she longed to meet the one she loved at Hibarigasaki. That's right, her persistent approaches to him are simply due to the longing for the love in her memories. How self-centered. How shameless. That's why. Her longing must come to an end. The next time will be the last. She will look away, lock away those feelings. Lock them away forever. Lock them up just like this. Hisakaki hands Okaizumi the keys required for our club activities. It's the first day of the Denkaru's training camp. We received approval earlier this week. After Saturday's school finished in the morning, I worked during the day to make up for this training camp. Thank you, Ariokan! Aso's eyes are steady. Kujua サークルでも部活でもどうせ雨の時期なんだし、ジメジメ引きこもってればいいじゃない。小桃ちゃん、なんでまだいるの？うん、だから私も部員なんだけど、もう顔は出さないって言ってたのに。そのつもりだったけど
あ、あいし。小笠さんの心の下打ちが聞こえました。There no, people will get the wrong idea. Please go on. Aso settles down as well thanks to Hisakaki's timely intervention. Or rather, it seems that she's still brooding over something. ただ、調理実習室で自炊はできないからね。生徒だけで火を扱うのは危険だから、布団や寝袋なんかの寝具は各自用意。保健室のベッドを使うのは衛生上許可できないからね。それと、屋上の使用に時間制限はないけど、あ